What's up, everybody? Welcome to Podcast Now. I'm Alex, and in this video, I'm going to be reviewing Marvel's Avengers. So this is finally it. You know, we've talked a bit about some of the not great things about this game. I know I've gotten the, the thing out there, just a general maybe opinion on me, is that I really don't like this game, right? So I, I do want to just discuss it. I want to talk about the negatives, but I also want to talk about the positives and ultimately what I think about this game. Uh, I try to do my reviews a little bit different. I don't give a review score. I kind of just talk about if this game is worth your time, worth you actually purchasing it. So let me start with the positives. And again, I do think there are a number of positives in this game. And I've said them, you know, I've sprinkled them kind of like a, like a, like a crumb trail kind of uh, in past videos. So the story, I think the basic story of what they're trying to do is actually really solid. Um, you know, the Avengers basically all separating with the, you know, events of A-Day and then having Kamala basically be the one to bring them all together. It's, it is simple. It is not the longest story in the world. It's not the longest campaign, which is honestly disappointing because when you really think about it, the campaign, I mean, you can beat this thing in six, seven, eight hours, somewhere in that range. Yes, you can go maybe a little bit higher up there, um, but really, I can't imagine you would spend more than t uh, 10, 12 hours on the campaign. So that is a little disappointing. I mean, that's an average length. That's kind of what games have, you know, m many games throughout all of history have had lengths that time. So I'm not going to criticize them based off of length. In fact, what I'm saying actually in a praise is I would have liked more. I actually would have liked more. And that kind of stems some of the weaknesses of, you know, I talk about villains when I talk about other things. It kind of does stem from that where it's like I do actually think they have a really solid baseline basically for this game. And I just wish there was more to it. But the story is very solid. Kamala is very, very good. Again, I, I talked about her. You know, when I played the beta, I wasn't a big fan. I thought she was a little annoying. But let me tell you, I mean, I completely 180 myself because I I think she's a phenomenal character. I think she's uh, the actress for her, does a phenomenal job. I've said it before, I actually like Nolan North's uh, Tony Stark. I mean, yeah, any of these characters, by the way, doing them on you know the video game is different than doing it on the movies. I mean, nobody's ever going to do Robert Downey Jr.'s uh, version. But I think, you know, this Nolan North version is pretty solid. Bruce, um, you know, they give Bruce Banner Hulk. They kind of give him the short end of the stick multiple times in the story. But I think Troy Baker does a really, really good job. I like Black Widow, Laura Bailey's job, you know, portrayal as her. I think, again, the characters and story are really good. Even the villains, like Monica, Mo I'll say Monica and Modoc, because those are really the two. I mean, I'm not going to really count Taskmaster or Abomination, but those two are very, very solid as well. So, again, I think overall they did a really solid job in the story approach, in the actual the characters, all that kind of stuff. I would say, you know, job well done. I just wish it was longer. The other positives is, look... This game, firstly, is probably not fully for me. I don't think I'm going to be the one to spend like 100 plus hours playing this game nonstop every day, every week of every month. Okay, and I've talked about that before, right? And, and that's why I think talking about this game in a review is difficult because, I, and I guess you could say that is kind of the case for any game. Some games are just going to speak to certain people more than others. And a game like this with the Destiny style, you know, uh, the looter basically, right, of constantly getting your gear, constantly having that gameplay play loop of going back in and constantly leveling up and getting those skills, all that stuff. I mean, that is flat out going to work with some people, and it's not going to work with some people. I wouldn't say it doesn't work for me because, look, factually, I played this game a lot. I think I'm power level like 89 or 90 with my highest character. Now, granted, I haven't really played any other characters online, and I'm, I'm embarrassed to say that I believe even my Captain America and my Black Widow are still power level zero. So, I mean, I haven't done it for all of them. And again, that kind of goes to the, the balance, the positive negatives, where I am actually having fun doing the gear and fighting higher enemies and, and you know having that kind of reward I don't know that, that reward trickle is that kind of a phrase you would use I think that's addicting there's a reason by the way that I mean you know I mean it's kind of all a psychology and there's a reason why these games are addicting and why these games get you coming back so I mean I get it I get it that's basically what I'm trying to say at the same time I do not see myself doing this for every like for Iron Man so my Iron Man again is like almost a power level 90 at the time I'm recording this I will get him to 150 and in fact, I'll probably get one other character to 150. But in my personal opinion, do I think the game has enough to get me to play all six characters and get them all the way up? No. I think when you really boil it down, again, there is something fun to playing this with friends. There's something fun with that, again, that repetitive loop of constantly getting better gear. The fighting 
is good too. I actually like a lot of the different moves that all these characters have. I mean, even you look at where the characters start at when they're super weak and where they are now. I mean, you see all the new like abilities they're able to do. They are very, very cool. So even the fighting, and I've talked about this before, I think the level of depth that they have for every single character is actually very, very good. Again, a good base. But let me tell you, after that, it completely falls. In my opinion, it falls apart. There's not enough to do. Every single mission that you go into is one of like three or four different things. You're either, and, and in terms of like bonus things, you're either opening chests, you're fighting one overpowered enemy, or you're saving an, an, an inhuman, and that's pretty much it. So when it, it boils down to that, and you're doing the same thing over and over, and look, I know they said there's 50 enemy types, but where are the 50? I mean, I can count maybe 10, but I cannot see how they got to 50. A lot of them are just reskins of another person. You know what I mean? There's multiple shooter types. There's, mul there's multiple melee types. There's multiple different robots. I mean, you're basically fighting the exact same enemy over and over and over. And then again, when it boils down to it, you're doing the same thing over and over and over. They're also not really long enough or detailed enough. And the more I play this, the more I truly do feel comfortable with that video I made a few days ago talking about the villains. I mean, the game needs them. You can't keep doing villain sectors with Abomination and Taskmaster, and that's it. Two characters, same exact boss fight, or robots, or just the exact same... You know what I mean? That's not, in my opinion, very good. And, and ultimately, you can do it in probably 20, 25, 30 minutes. It's not long enough. At least in like a Destiny raid, you are going through so much. And there's multi... You know what I mean? There's a lot of different things to do. And I get it. There's the Mega Hives, there's the AIM uh, sectors, whatever they call them, like the, the, the wave-based mode. But even then... It's just waves, they're higher enemies, you're fighting the exact same villain at the end of them all, again, again, abomination. So, like, what can we get something new? Again, DLC in terms of heroes, I, I want, I'm very excited for. They need to add villains to it as well. And honestly, it's a necessity. They absolutely need to add more to this game because I think... To, to be quite honest with you, this is a game, and because I've seen so many different people do reviews and they've talked about how it's really like two different takes, like there is so much positive and there is so much negative, and I think Honestly, that's probably the best way. You can only say that in a video title so much, right? I've seen all, all these different channels, I've seen all these different articles, every single gaming article do that. Some are taking, you know, full-on positives and full-on negatives, but to me, it really is. It's, it's a tale of two stories where they're, I think, at its core, there's a solid foundation. The characters, the story, the game, the not necessarily gameplay like loop, but definitely how each fighter do, you know, does their thing, okay, their abilities, again, all their skills, all that kind of stuff. I think that's a very, very good basis for this kind of game. I just think there's no originality, there's nothing new here in terms of what you're doing, in terms of the gameplay. There's, I mean, I've done all of this stuff before in other games, and I could argue better, because it, it, when it's in this game, again, there's only, I mean, there's war zones, drop zones, there's iconic, but at the end of the day, you're doing the same thing. You're doing the exact same thing for 15, 20, 25, 30 minutes. Minutes. And even again in the larger missions, you know, when you can kind of go around, there's still only the. Ex I mean, again, you only you save an inhuman, you fight a, a higher enemy, you open like five chests that are maybe, and then you go and you do the main objective, and that's it. That's the only thing you do in all of these, and then it boils down to fighting the exact same kinds of enemies over and over and over again. And there's no, in my opinion, like the and I don't know because I don't play that many of these kind of games, okay. But there's not like a story arc or something that's very like important to me that makes me want to play it. You know what I mean? I, I like we're not really doing anything all that important in these missions to make me feel like I did anything. In fact, some of the drop zones that take probably five to ten minutes, what are we really doing? You know what I mean? Now maybe that's more of like a story side of me where like I want a reason for doing these kind of things. And so I'm not gonna necessarily blame the game for that. A lot of games I think do that. But again, like why why are we doing it? Why are we facing the exact same enemies over and over and over again? So it really is. It's a tale of two stories. I would not say, and I said it before, I would not say I'm disappointed because it's kind of what I expected. Is this a bad game? Well, there's some bad things in it. I would say overall it's a 
pretty darn average game. I'd say, and oh, I, I forgot graphics and frame rate and stuff like that. I mean, I really, I would like to avoid talking about that stuff because that would probably get me pretty mad. At times, this game looks like a 2007 game. At times, this game feels like a 2007, 2010, you know, somewhere in that range. Early, last-gen kind of game. It, it, there's a lot of stuff wrong. It seems like this game was trying to be something, and it probably should have been delayed for quite some time to at least iron out all of these, you know, day one issues, which they are going to fix, but at the same time, you have to judge it based off what you've played. I've played, I don't know, 30, 35, 40 hours in this version. I'm not going to judge it based off of a patch later, right? Nobody should be doing that, but, you know, people obviously do. So, again, I'd say average. I would say it depends on the kind of person you are for this game, because it's average to me, but I'm also not into, like, really into these kind of games. If you are, honestly, I would kind of like to know your, your thoughts, because I also think there's two different ways to go with that where you could also be really disappointed or upset because this maybe isn't a good version of those kind of games or you're happy with it because it does what it's trying to do it is a copycat of a lot of other things but it's got the marvel skin over it which maybe you know appeals to some people so definitely want to know your thoughts in the comments below it depends on your your person as always this is just my opinion uh, your opinion matters just as much and actually ultimately it matters way more than mine when it comes to you buying a game right ultimately it ends up being what do you think about this game this game to me was always supposed to just get me through to mafia and I, I will jump back in every time there's DLC to Avengers. That's always been my plan. Right now, the Super Mario 3D All-Stars comes out next Friday. It actually only has to get me to next Friday now. So really, it's going to do its job for me. I'm not mad that I spent the $60 on it. I'm happy with it. I'm going to play it more. Again, will I get all my characters to, to max power level and max level in general? No, there's no way. Even with the DLC characters, like I'm not going to get every single DLC character up to that point. Will I get some? Sure, some that I'm, I'm really, really excited for. Absolutely, but some of them, even like Kate Bishop, like, will I really do that? Probably not, probably not. So, guys, let me know in the comments below. What do you think? Do you guys like this game? Did you buy it? Were you waiting on it? And now you're, you're happy that you waited on it? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. As always, make sure you guys are subscribed to this YouTube channel podcast now. Hit the bell icon so you guys know when all these videos go up. And thank you all so much for watching. I truly, truly appreciate it. And I hope to see you all on the next video.